do people like Carl Pilkington actually exist? And if you know one, what's your craziest funniest story? I had a friend at school who was convinced that Gary Sinise had no legs after seeing Forrest Gump on DVD. When I pointed out that he had legs in the first half of the film he claimed they were just added with CGI. So then I asked how do you CGI in legs for an actor with no legs and he told me that he must have been suspended from a crane or gantry like a human puppet. The conversation moves on but I just couldn't let this go. I ask him how come he has been in loads of other films and a CSI series. He thinks they all just added his legs with CGI. So I point out that it might have been easier to just remove his legs with CGI in Forrest Gump rather than add them in everything else he has been in. His response is just nah. You can't do that. There was nowhere to hide them in the film. This is low key one of the best ones here. The specificity is perfect. Had a friend who didn't realize he was dating someone. Carol friend once mentioned a girl he met and he asked if it was normal to have a female friend stay over at his place, cook for him, and clean his place. We asked what they do and he said they went to hang out sometimes. Dinner, movies, theater, and so on. He's been invited over to her parents and relatives place. He also gave her handmade chocolates for valentines. Oh, and they've also had sex. I asked if they were dating or frick buddies. And the realization hit him like a deer with a car. He went home and asked her if they were dating and apparently she had to confirm that's what they were doing. He introduced her to his parents and asked her to marry him. They've been married for 10 plus years and have two kids. We have a joke where we say he married her before dating her. To be honest, I don't know if he is on the spectrum or is high functioning. He works as an accountant and hardly raises his voice. He doesn't take things literally. The realization hit him like a deer with a car. I visualized a deer driving a car into him. Three of us decided to call in sick one day in high school. Pretend to be a parent saying Joe can't come to school today. He has a fever, etc. The first two of us are successful. Third guy calls. Woman asks him who is this again. He replies, this is my father. I tried that a few times. It never worked. I suspect it was because I was homeschooled. My husband is a Carl. Isn't bothered about going to see the world except he wants to go to New York. Doesn't eat anything in the least bit unusual looking. He would never eat Chinese food. It took me 7 years to get him to try alasane. Has very specific and completely irrational dislikes of certain people. Victoria Beckham. Alex Scott. Anton Deck are just a few. He thinks he could solve world refugee crisis by sending them all to a spare country. He's very serious about this idea. He's not very good at remembering proverbial sayings too many cooks. Not enough knives don't count your chickens. Count your eggs. I could go on. I could go on. Please do. Had a neighbor. His house was broken while he was asleep inside. He called the police on them. Not because they broke in, not because they tried to steal from him, not because they roughed him up, but because they left the door open and let his cat out. When police came to arrest the thieves, he wanted to press charges for endangering his poor cat. He also refused promotions from his job because to him it meant a change in his lifestyle which he didn't want. I've refused a promotion. They wanted to reward me for doing my job really well by giving me a different job that I wouldn't do as well and wouldn't enjoy. An old colleague was looking after a tarantula for a friend. He was told he could feed it flies which he did. The tarantula died. He had used fly spray to catch the flies. I'm amazed the spider went anywhere near the flies. I've thrown flies killed by fly spray into webs of orb weavers. The spiders come scuttling down get ready to go in for the killing bite then seem to hesitate before finally leaving. My brother could do an idiot abroad series just playing himself and you'd get a pretty accurate clone of Carl Picklington. We've actually joked about it a few times. People like him exist all over the UK. When me and my friends were on a teenage holiday in Spain my mate was talking about how he wished he could get a tan on his body, not just his arms and legs. My friend said to him well what are you wearing a shirt for he paused and said I dunno, just always have. I was dating a Carl. When we were in that initial phase I was playing the would you still like me if game. Two inches tall was acceptable and so was being a mouse as well as being morbidly obese or really skinny. When I said what if I lost a leg he said I'm not sure I could look at that and walked off. 
He just answered with an honest gut reaction. When he sees amputees he gets like shooting pains where they've lost a limb. I have a friend who has a thousand different stories from where he's found himself doing random stuff with even random people, usually by pure chance. We were talking about celebs we've met, as none of us move in those circles, and he started off his with, Coleman, I met Robert De Niro, he was very nice, us, yep, that beats us with our Z list celebs, how did you come to meet RDN, Coleman, he threw up on my shoes, us. How did you get you into a scenario where RDN threw up on your shoes? Coleman. Well, I was at this party at Kenneth Branagh's house and RDN turned up very drunk and... Us. Okay, you need to start this one from the beginning. Why were you at Kenneth Branagh's house? That storytelling formula is direct from the bullshitter's playbook. If he has more than two of them, he's messing with you. So there's this guy I know. Real bright fellow as you'll see in a moment. First time I met him, he started telling me about how once he'd finally won the lottery, he'd get a huge villa, and in that huge villa would be a huge pool, and in that huge pool would be a huge yacht, and on that huge yacht there'd be strippers with huge butts, and we'd do huge lines of coke on said butts. I said that's interesting. Do you play the lottery? No. Why? I had a friend at uni who bought a packet of spaghetti and a packet of meatballs and when he'd finished frying the meatballs was confused why they hadn't released the marinara sauce he normally has when his mum makes them. Released. Like sauce sponges. This one is really good. I see a bit of Carl in myself. I'm on the spectrum. And I've wondered if Carl is too. He displays such abstract, out of the box thinking. But he can also be so blunt. Carl's a reminder that being a bit absent-minded does not mean being stupid. I laughed when Carl said something along the lines of seeing a baby picture of himself and noticing he already looked fed up with the world. I've seen some baby pictures of myself and I look like that too. Same. I always used to say I was born an old person. I'm late to this but hope it gets seen. In college one of my dorm buddies was dating a girl he met on campus. She was Catholic and he wasn't. She invited him to mass and he went, and not knowing the rules, took communion and mortified this girl's parents and the girl too. He just didn't know, realizing he screwed up but not knowing what to do. He decides to start calling church offices to ask priests for advice. Somehow that didn't work though, but the priests kept calling him back for almost a week. We'd be eating lunch in the cafe and he'd look at his phone and be like man these priests keep calling me. He and the girl didn't work out and he's an air traffic controller now. Also he peed in a pop bottle and left it on the floor of his dorm. Then drunk hungover one morning accidentally drank his pee cause he thought it was lemonade. The hall we lived in was single dorm so no one saw him do it and he didn't need to tell us that it ever even happened but he did. And one time he also bit the coal from off the top of a hooker cause he thought it was an Oreo. Not sure if he was drunk or high or whatever for that. With this kid it could have just been dark in the room too. Not a stupid guy but just kind of an idiot. Had a buddy him and his dad were doing some work on a church down the road from their house. His dad had to go and told him just leave when he was finished the doors lock automatically. An hour later he goes to leave and see the door is closed and just assumed he was locked in. For hours called his dad, mom, brother, no answer. He eventually called my best friend who told him you can't be locked inside a building with a panic bar. It'll lock behind you. He was 19. An apprentice started at work. He'd just come back from a holiday in Spain with his parents. They'd driven there. I asked him whereabouts in Spain. He didn't know, except that it was near the sea. I asked him if he could point to where it was on a map. He couldn't find Spain. We printed out a blank map of Europe and asked him to fill in what he knew. He'd heard of Switzerland but he thought it was where Cyprus was. He didn't know Ireland was a country. He thought it was part of England. He knew Germany was a country but pointed to Italy. He doesn't like wet food. Only dry. He won't have gravy or any kind of sauce on his food. He can't look at anyone eating yogurt or he says he'll be sick. We tried to teach him parts of a staircase, treads, risers, banister etc but he couldn't get the hang of that. A few years ago he was really into dubstep but now all he listens to is Disney songs. He watches horror movies though. He did used to live in a house share but had to leave after a woman offered to put his washing in the machine with hers. 
He was too polite to say no, but threw the clothes away afterwards because he thought his clothes might have then got contaminated. He's not stupid. He's moved 200 miles away from his family and he's been savvy enough to put down a deposit and get a mortgage for a flat and he's invested in ISIS and a pension. He just shows all the signs of someone who has escaped after being raised in a cult on a secluded island. This is more of a cull moment than a true cull because my aunt is normally smarter than this. I was in Italy with my dad, my aunt, and my uncle. We went to the grocery store and split up to get our assigned items. My aunt was in charge of going to the deli counter. The rest of us finished our shopping and waited an inordinate amount of time at the registers for my aunt to show up looking like an angry rain cloud. Out in the car, my dad asked her what the issue was. She complained that they must hire idiots at Italian grocery stores because the girl would not understand that my aunt wanted 500 grams of shrimp. Really asked my dad. That's weird. You asked her for cinquecento gram? I asked her for 500 grams and she just looked at me. This went back and forth for a while with my dad asking if she had asked for cinquecento gram and her insisting that she asked for 500 grams. Then something clicked in my father's brain. Patricia, he began, were you asking for cinquecento gram or for 500 grams? My aunt sighed, exasperated, for 500 grams and the girl just would not understand. I don't understand. They don't speak English here. Patricia, you have to order in Italian. Not everyone takes English in school. She had been to Italy multiple times before. I have no idea what was going through her head. He once set his slippers on fire, whilst wearing them and didn't realize until someone pointed it out. He once got angry because he wasn't angry. He moved house and, at the end of the week, went out to the pub. He got drunk and went back to his old place. When he realized his mistake, he had to call his housemate to tell him where he lived as he forgot. At least once a month he'd put a baking tray into the oven, leave it there for an hour and, forgetting it would be hot, try to take out with his bare hands. So, yeah, these people definitely exist in real life. I don't think Cole would do any of that. I had one, with the classes round head. He was my boss at a supermarket and used to throw objects around the shop when he got angry, like joints of meat and cover the shop in blood. Had a strange view on almost every topic in the world. I see myself a lot in him. I don't understand travel, and many other normal things, plus my username. And I got a lot of wisdom from him too, like oven. I use that methodology and it work magic, but mine is stove whenever I say it to my partner, she just says nothing. Friend of mine thought that daylight savings was a way to keep daytime from slipping into night because he has never had to change an analog clock himself. Coworker of mine thinks that DST has an actual effect on the relationship between the earth and the sun. I went to high school with Carol friend, but we never hung out until after we both graduated. About a year ago this happened to him. He was walking his dog when he passed a dumpster with three guys digging through it. Being the curious Carol friend he is he went over and started chatting with the guys. Turns out one was an old friend of his he hadn't seen in 5 or so years. He invites the guys from the dumpster back to his place to hang out. Among the chit chat Carol friend mentions how long he's wanted a tattoo. Dumpster friend chimes in that he just so happens to have all of his tattoo equipment with him. That was also in the dumpster. They start the tattoo in Carol friend's living room and halfway through dumpster friend pauses. I need to take a break and shoot up a game to my surprise this is where Carol friend drew the line. He told them all to leave, but not before the other two dumpster friends stole his car keys and two old iPhones. They never stole the car, they just took the keys. I credit Carl Pilkington with seriously improving my mental health as a young adult. I was once suicidal and my way of coping was to negotiate with myself that I could do the deed if met a number of conditions first. One of those conditions is that I had to force myself to watch Carl Pilkington whenever I felt terrible. 10 years later and I can say the strategy worked. Of course, Carl Pilkington is not actually that dim. He's just bullied and ridiculed so bad by Ricky Gervais that he's convinced the masses he's an idiot. He constantly demonstrates high order thinking, abstract concepts, problem solving and adaptability. He just does it with a blue collar vocabulary and lack of cultural awareness, and Gervais creams him for it. Ricky's called Carl a genius just as many times as he's called him an idiot. They were mates. 
When I was a teenager I had a stash can. It looked like a Dr. Pepper can but you unscrew the top and put your weed in it. One day I find my friend trying to open it with a hammer and an screwdriver. He was with me when I bought it. Oh. I worked with a girl at a pub who thought Scotland was the capital of Ireland. She also couldn't spell glass. She spelled it glass. She was 24. Knew another bloke who had an affair with his mate's wife. When the husband found out, he just moved out and left her. Carol friend got angry with the man whose marriage he ruined because the other man didn't want to fight him. F silly girl. Everyone knows Scotland is the capital of Wales. F me. My family know how odd Carl is and we've seen him on the shows and podcasts. My family have compared him to me on so many occasions. I'm just mad about him making fun of that woman with the disfigured face. You can say I'm too sensitive. But they were making fun of an actual person. It's not really fair. My mom is a female Carl Pilkingen. She absolutely refuses to try anything new, and I mean anything. Bare minimum computer game that isn't mahjong or slots? Nope. And she'll only play mahjong on the easiest setting. 2. Taking up a hobby that isn't watching TV or playing those two games all day? Oh no. And she'll crap on your hobbies while she's at it. Trying a new recipe? She'll be and complain the entire time, even if you tailor it exactly to her tastes. Bland. No onion or garlic. Nothing exotic like bell peppers or herbs. She's mildly xenophobic. Has irrational hatreds for the most random of people. And is deathly afraid of slugs and snails. A friend of mine is a bit of a Carl. He's a great guy. Once we were walking out of a cinema. We just watched a movie in 3D and he said man. I wish real life was in 3D. I also once witnessed him. By himself. A grown man. Chasing a small bouncy ball down the road in all directions like a lunatic dog. He had no idea I could see him. One of my best friends is missing a good portion of one of his fingers because he stuck his hand in a lawnmower to see if it was working. I made a portrait of Carl Pilkington out of 12,000 dice that hangs on the wall. Don't even frickin' ask me why him cause I can't tell you. Would love to see a picture of that. Just watched a YouTube video where the dudes were arguing about how flies can't fly as high as planes because they can't reach the speed the bird layer and other amazing reasons. The whole argument started because they thought it was busy they found a fly in the second floor of their house because they aren't normally that high up. Mikey G. Went to high school with a guy and he ended up becoming our weed dealer when we were home. Great dude, but he had some weird blind spots. On the day Steve Jobs died we were hanging out and he looks up from his phone out of nowhere and yells who the frick is this Steve Jobs guy everyone's talking about. He also made it to like 23 yo before realizing that leather came from cows. He grew up playing baseball and he knew baseball gloves were leather. Just not that leather was cowhide. My partner isn't very bright. He didn't know corn chips were made from corn. He thought bugs were spontaneously created from dirt. He was worried the bedroom was going to fill up with air if I left the air can on. They really really do. I know someone who amongst other equally idiotic things voted to leave the EU and then without a hint of irony fricked off to live in Spain. Obviously this person is also a anti 5G and thinks COVID is a conspiracy too. She's like a box ticking exercise for gullibility. I used to think she was harmlessly naive but in all honesty she's a freaking moron. I guess my mom is like this. Once I was giving my sister some random cheap stuff for her apartment, but she was so excited to see it, and perhaps get it for herself, that she jumped up, knocking over the coffee table, sending tea and items everywhere. I wiped tea off the walls for months, kept finding it. She would ask me for clothes and jewelry I was wearing. She's on medication, some for sleeping, and frequently takes it in the wrong order although it is labeled perfectly. I suppose my flat earth friend qualifies. I don't want to use the word cracksy bc I truly believe he has unaddressed mental health issues. One of his quirks is that everything us easy, anyone can do that. This ranges from brain surgery to construction. The index finger on his right hand appears to be some sort of universal multi-tool. I was trying to teach myself welding. It's easy he says and breaks out his finger. Welds an invisible seam in the air with it. Vertical down if I recall correctly. He's never welded in his life. I bought some leather and had a go at making wallets. Dyeing. Cutting. Sewing etc. 
I explained how the leather moved and stretches, sometimes making it hard to get a clean line. It's easy he says. Cut the imaginary leather with his finger. It was a perfect cut I have to admit. Construction. He wanted to build an extension onto his house. It was like listening to a child. It will have walls, a roof, a door and electricity. I pointed out that he'd have to get planning permission. I will build it under a giant tent. No one will know. I pointed out that he had no building experience and was quite frankly incompetent at even putting up a shelf. I'll get someone to fo it but I'll be in charge. Like a project manager? Now you're using big words. I don't want to give the impression that this is some guy who has obvious learning difficulties or mental health issues that I'm making fun of. He's a family man with a secret job. I don't ask. Yeah me. I'm like him mixed with Mr. Bean in public. I literally do everything wrong. Every walk outside is a new embarrassing moment for me. At least he has ignorance to help him get through it. I dwell on my mistakes subconsciously until I break down. I was talking with the maintenance guy at work about travel. He's Carlish. I asked him if he had ever been anywhere far away. He said that when he was a kid, he went to Egypt, and that he was surprised that there were highways right next to the pyramids. I asked him if he'd been anywhere else that was far away, and he said up, uh, been to Egypt, been to Pennsylvania, we live in northern New Jersey, Egypt is probably 12 hours away by airplane, and Pennsylvania is about 1 hour away by car. I worked with a guy who came in once and said he weighed himself the night before but he'd need to do it again tonight when he was less stressed. I didn't understand so asked him why. He was adamant that being stressed that is. Tens would make his muscles weigh more. No amount of reasoning would change his mind. I know someone whose girlfriend is a female Carl. He does Facebook live streams and asks her questions. And it's hilarious. Wish I had a live and Carl. I feel like I fit this role within most of my friend groups tbh. I'm autistic and an airhead that will just say crap if I think it pertains to the conversation and hope for the best. My wife thinks it's cute so I've got that going for me. Gavin free from rooster teeth. Is very smart but doesn't show it and is often asking inquisitive. Stupid. Shower thought s questions that no one thinks of and only makes sense to him. Some of the highest rated comments on this are not even examples of a cow. Just people being stupid. Cole is not stupid. He's just dry and knows what he likes or dislikes. And is vocal about his odd opinions ideas. Exactly. He has more insight and opinions on things than I would imagine 10 people having. He didn't get those because his brain doesn't work. It works just fine. And his delivery just leaves me breathless from laughter over the backdoor perspective that he comes up with. Here we are with the hard hitting questions. I'm guessing this is too real for people to openly discuss so you won't get many answers. Just too emotional. I love the old podcast of Ricky Gervais, Carl Pilkington, and the tall stick man who was in the Tooth Fairy movie, Stephen Merchant. Not to be pedantic, but it's my impression that Carl Pilkington himself actually exists. You may get a more nuanced answer from him, of course. This answer is technically correct answer but completely misses the intent of the question. Maybe you're like Carl. LOL. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.